We're back. The greatest book recommendation video of all time. Now, okay, perhaps not really, but I do want to check in with a book recommendation. I stumbled upon this fine book, The Pagan Book of Days. And basically what it is, it's a, it's a list of days throughout the year that are of significance to a European pagan. Now, to take an example, we have Coming up soon, 11th of March, day of the semi-divine hero Heracles, or Hercules. It is a day of strength and superhuman feats of courage. Good stuff. So, the only reasonable course of action, in my humble opinion, is that we all take our notebooks. So, if you followed my latest Wild Hunt challenge, one of the steps was to get one of these notebooks. So, we're going to note down this date, and then we're all going to do a... Uh, great gym session or MMA session. It's up to you. I am a proponent of liberty of choice, so you can choose between the gym or MMA. Uh, very generous in this regard, I am. I give you the free option of what to train. So anyway, something to do with great strength. It's how we celebrate the semi-divine Hercules, whom we all love and admire, of course. A young prince, chosen to take the mantle of the ages. The king in the wood, reborn. Now we have a day that is also soon coming up, on the 18th of May. A sacred day to Apollo, the Greco-Roman god of music, poetry, divination and sunlight. I will note down this date as well, and I will compose a poem for my upcoming collection of poetry, which will be released perhaps next year. Who knows? Anyway, of course, with the blessing of Odin the Allfather as well, may he imbue me with poetic fervor so I can compose something. I will do a bit of calligraphy as well, so we can view this as a day of art appreciation. So you can note that down as well. And yeah, the book, of course, it contains more noteworthy dates and events throughout the year. Of course, also, as we all know, as you all know, if you have followed my book reviews, that Christianity, it was heavily Europeanized once it came into contact first with the Greco-Roman world and then, of course, also with the Germanic world. So many of these pagan holidays, they are today also Christian holidays. So Christmas, for example, Jul, Saturnalia and Easter. But anyway, it's a nice book, it's a nice place to start for a pagan, because ultimately paganism, it's not so much about belief. Belief is a Christian thing. You have to believe that Christ is your savior. That is what makes you a Christian. What makes you a pagan? Yes, that you offer sacrifice. It's about, it's more about action, that you sacrifice, that you have holy days, that you celebrate. That is what paganism is. So an act of paganism is pouring out libation of mead, which is my standard form of worship. And you can of course pray to the gods as well, should you wish I do that as well. But there is a distinction between Christianity, which is more based on faith, and paganism, which is more based on ritual and offering sacrifice. So anyway, long story, I might get into it at another time, but I just thought to mention that since something like this, a practical book, and if you have followed my book reviews as well, you know that I always point out that a book about spirituality is good when you have practical instructions in it, so it's not only about theology and metaphysics, even though these aspects are very interesting as well, of course. Now, anyway, that was my book recommendation for the day. It's quite short and concise as well, and very easy to read because it's only, yeah, it looks like this, so goes quite fast and you can absorb it and you can perhaps find some holy days which you would like to incorporate into your year as well. Now I will pray to Thor and Mithras by hitting the gym. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. XXO. Boom.